In this particular lecture, let's go ahead and let's start building the to-do list application in React. So in order to create this application, I'll straight away go ahead, go on my desktop, create a new folder, and let's name this particular folder as to-do app. So this is just a container folder which will actually contain our Vite project. So in order to actually create our project, now I'll open up the terminal and execute the Vite commands to create an app. So in order to create a React project in this particular folder using Vite, I'll open up terminal or you could also open up VS Code as well. So I'll open up VS Code here and in Visual Studio Code, I'll simply open up the folder which we have just created on our desktop. And once this is opened up, I'll open up the terminal here and open up a new terminal. And in order to create or set up a React project here, I would say npm create Vite and we will be making use of Vite version 4.1.0. So make sure that you type in the appropriate version here. Now it will ask us to create the project name. So let's name this project as to do app, hit enter. And now it will ask us what project we want to create. So we actually want to create a React project. So we will be selecting the option as React. Now it will ask us to select a framework. So I'll be selecting JavaScript. And over here, this will create the React project for us. So I simply have to go inside that project. So CD to do app and then type in npm install. And after this, I just have to execute the command which is npm run dev to actually see if the project is up and running. So npm run dev. And now as you can see, the server is up and running. So I could simply open this thing up. And as you can see, we have our project running in the browser. So once our project is set up, there are a couple of basic things which we need to do here. And that is to go ahead and delete the unwanted files which we have in here. So here we have the public folder and the source folder. So let's get rid of the public folder first. And then inside the source folder, we have an assets folder here. So let's get rid of that as well. And then we have this app.css, uh, let's get rid of that as well. And then let's get rid of this index.css as well. All right, so after deleting all of these files, now uh, other files will be left with some imports which would be invalid. So let's remove those imports as well. So I'll remove the index.css from here. Go inside the app.jsx, remove everything from here as well. And over here, let's remove the count as well. Remove the use state hook import and remove everything over here except for the main div which we have, which is this div. All right. So once this thing is done, now we are pretty much good to go. And I'll simply add app here so as to make sure if everything works fine. So here, as you can see, now we no longer get any kind of error on our application, which means now we will be able to go ahead and create our to-do list application here from scratch without any issues. So that was the basic setup of our to-do list application. So from the next lecture onwards, let's go ahead and let's start working on the actual designing and building of the application. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.